Good afternoon, Catalina Foothills Church and friends. Pastor Johnstone coming to you with our third update as we move towards a regathering on June 7th. We're excited about coming back together as a church and worshiping in person. But even as we come, I just want to remind you of a few things as we regather. Number one, we cannot guarantee your safety. So what do I mean in saying that? We have we have zealously cleaned the sanctuary, and we're going to clean the sanctuary between our three services. We're wiping it. We're cleaning all the chairs and all the surfaces, all the knobs. But the COVID is sort of here to stay for a season. Until there are vaccines, until there are better treatment protocols, we cannot guarantee your safety. Only you can guarantee your safety. And we recognize that some of you are not ready to return, and some of you are. So as you do come back, we want to give you this admonition. Please care for your own health. If you've had any symptoms, take a week off. If you're unsure, take a week off. If you're at high risk, we would encourage you to stay home for a season as we're going to continue to stream our services and you can participate at home. It may not be time for you to come back because we cannot and no one else can guarantee your safety from the COVID-19, but you can. We know it's safer to wear a mask. We know it's safe to clean the surfaces. And you're coming back to the cleanest sanctuary you've ever come to. But I need you to hear me say, we can't guarantee your safety. And yet, it's still time for us to regather. So just let me encourage you, encourage those of you at the high risk, at, who are older and are at higher risk, consider staying at home. If you want to come, you're welcome. Let me encourage those with pre-existing conditions probably you ought to stay at home for a season, but if you want to come, you're welcome, but we can't guarantee your safety. And I know that's kind of a bummer to start because we're excited about regathering, but we just wanted you to know that. The second thing I want to remind you of is we have three services. We have a 745 service, a 930 service, and an 1115 service. We've decided to designate our 745 service as a mask only service. In other words, we're requiring masks if you want to attend the 745 service. We will also not sing at the 745 service. It'll be about 40 minutes. It'll be our liturgy, prayer, and my preaching. Staff will have a mask, and it's required to have a mask to come to that service. So if you sign up for that service, you have to have a mask. Anyone who shows up without a mask will have to turn away from that service. So our 745 is for mask and no singing. Our 930 and 1115, you can wear a mask, and we would encourage you to wear a mask if you want, but you don't have to. We will have the back two rows of the sanctuary designated as mask for those who want to wear a mask and sit at the back so they can feel more safely. There's nobody behind them, but they don't have to. It'll just be set up so that mask people in the 930 and 1115 service can sit back there, but come as you are, come however you want, and sit however you want. Now, as you come back, you're coming back to a socially distant sanctuary. It's not the same sanctuary you left. We have it set up in groups of four, groups of five, groups of six, groups of two, so that families can sit together, but everybody's six feet apart. And if you're wondering what that looks like, this is what it looks like. So now that you've seen it, you know what to expect when you come back to the service. Uh, we'll, we'll have ushers, and if you sit down and you have four, but you need a five, it's okay to go grab one chair and move it over. We're cleaning our chairs between the services. We will sing in those two services. Some can sing with masks, some can sing without, and we recognize that singing causes more danger of people who might have it to be exposed. And again, if you're returning, be careful. But we, we look forward to be back on June 7th. We're excited about how clean it is, and we're excited to have you come back. In the email you're receiving from me, you also have our survey. We're just trying to get a feel for where the church is. And if you haven't filled out, filled out that survey, it's like eight questions. It'll take you no time at all. We'd love to have you fill out that survey. You can find that in a link in the email. But also, you're going to need to sign up to return to these services. So if you're coming to the 745, you need to sign up for the 745. That link is in this email. If you're coming to the 930, we need you to sign up for the 930 because it will fill up. And if you're coming to the 1115, we need 
just sign up. We can't have all 300 people show up at one service. We don't have enough chairs. That would be disrespectful to our neighbor because we're being cautious because we not only want to love one another, we want to show respect to our neighbors, some of whom are not sure we should regather. But we are regathering, and we want to do it carefully and thoughtfully. So if you could fill out our survey, and if you could make sure you sign up, we look forward to being with you on June 7th. If you have any questions, if you have need any help, please contact our staff. We're here for you. I've had lots of you email me and ask me questions. I love answering, answering them. I have some of you have called me and left me messages. I'm glad to call you back and answer your questions. But again, look forward to being with you. That'll be a week from this coming Sunday. We have one more online service, and then we're back being regathered. Now, if you can't come back and, you don't, and you're not ready to, we support that. We will be streaming that 9.30 and that 11.15 service for you, so you can still watch it online. It'll be live streamed, and we look forward to delivering that to you. But so until we see you face-to-face -face or until we talk by phone, until we talk by email, we love you. We miss you. We look forward to being back with you. May God bless you. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Until next week, Pastor John Stone.